Hey, well, it's Tuesday, so it's time for another quick truth bomb. Today's truth bomb is all about the adaptability of the sales playbook to, to give the buyer the most enjoyable and delightful experience possible. I've, sp I've spoken with countless sales directors and sales people in the last couple of weeks about the sales playbook. Everyone's talking about the playbook, everyone's talking about cadence, everyone's talking about the buying journey and how we adapt and all of that. And I want to give you guys a, a little hint on how I do things and how my team do things here with, with trying to create um, a custom playbook, if you like, that gives the buyer the most delightful experience at every step. So here's a little hint, here's a question that you can ask your target buyers, a prospect or a suspect, someone that you're just getting to know. And I'll, I'll play this as a, as a role play so you get the, the sense of what it is I'm asking. In meeting number one, I will say to a prospect, Mr. Customer, Mrs. Customer, thank you very much for having us here today. We're delighted to be here. Um, thanks for the opportunity. We're really looking forward to working out with you if there's a strategic fit here or not. And if we can work together, we're very excited and keen to work with you. That's the, that's the preface, if you like. The question is this. Before we get started, Mr. Customer, and, and we want to know as much about your requirements as we can, but before we get started, could you give us an example, please, of an exemplary experience that you've had with a vendor or a supplier? I ask that question because we would like to make sure we're giving you value at every step of the journey that we go on together. We want to, we want to create the most seamless and easy and enjoyable experience possible for you. We're willing to adapt our process to make sure we fit in with whatever you need and whatever your procurement department, whatever your business units, whatever, whatever your business needs from us, we would like to adapt to that. And so can you tell us about an exemplary experience that you've had and we'll try and match it. So that's the question or the, the preface, if you like, that's the way I start my meetings. Get the buyer to tell you exactly what is a really good experience for them and then just try and match it. Uh, it's not rocket science, is it? It's, it's pretty simple. But here's what happens when you do that. In fact, two things happen. First of all, the buyer nearly falls off the bloody chair because they're shocked that a vendor would come in and say, hey, we're willing to do whatever you like to custom or adapt our process to fit with your requirements. The buyer is, is categorically shocked when that happens. The second thing that happens is you immediately differentiate yourself from every other salesperson who's simply turning up to these first meetings as a discovery meeting and they're asking, so what kept you awake at night? So tell us about your challenges and your problems and your pain points. The standard discovery questions. Buyers are sick of that. And if you don't believe me, just go out and ask some buyers. So today's truth bomb is about being adaptable. It's about giving the buyer the most delightful and enjoyable experience possible at each and every interaction. Offering insights and value and being adaptable and flexible in the way you help your buyer through the buying journey. If you can do that, you will be successful and you will differentiate yourself completely from all of the other salespeople out there who are not flexible and who are just running a process like robots. Try that question. Try the exemplary experience question in the first meeting and see what sort of response you get. I'll guarantee your buyer is really impressed with the fact that you're even willing to ask that question. You're willing to adapt. You're willing to be flexible. That's what buyers expect now. And again, if you don't believe me, just go out and ask your buyers. That's it for today. So until next Tuesday, have a great week. Happy selling. And we'll talk to you then. Bye for now.